the healthcare industry on the whole is looking out for the effective ways to reach out to new patients and using social media platforms is one important way to build stronger relationships with patients. Incorporating effective healthcare social media marketing strategies allows hospitals and healthcare facilities to connect with potential patients one-on-one, -on -one, while also providing valuable information to help them make the best decision concerning their health. Why social media matters to healthcare. When it comes to social media, healthcare providers are in a unique position as they are responsible for marketing a human necessity not a traditional product or impulse buy. Social media has significantly changed the way people interact and communicate with each other. Today, many patients use social media to find their physicians online, and it has become crucial for physicians and other medical entities to create an online presence and make a long-lasting impression on their prospective consumers. Incorporating a simple yet systematic digital marketing strategy can help build reputation in bringing quality traffic to a healthcare website. Here discussed are some important tips for building an effective healthcare social media marketing plan. And this plan can go along with any objectives that you have or any uh, laws that you have to abide by so that um, you're following um, healthcare uh, guidelines properly to the T while giving entertainment information to your audience to draw them into coming for um, whatever your service offers. Analyze the target audience. There are many social media platforms and each specific platform has a unique user base. For instance, the demographics and interests of people on Twitter and Facebook may be quite different from that on LinkedIn. To gain maximum benefits from these social platforms, it is important to plan unique and innovative digital marketing campaigns for each platform instead of going with one for all social media platforms. Of course, this is usually the better idea to use so that you can have an opportunity to really see which platform is uh, reacting the best for you. So just come up with a content calendar. And what I mean by that is just content that you can use on all social media accounts and you can link it up to Hootsuite, Buffer app or any other automated scheduler, social media scheduler. And then from there, you can, of course, just do the one post and schedule the time frames that you want it deployed and the automated tool will do it for you so you don't have to manually do this. Next up is sheer preventive healthcare crisis. Generally, time sensitive posts work well for not only engaging the target audience, but also educating them. These types of content include articles about recent health epidemics, routine procedures like a flu shot, and hot topics in the industry. This point is particularly relevant in the wake of COVID-19 crisis. Social media platforms have become a hub for discussions and real-time news concerning COVID-19. Since the huge spread of the virus, healthcare providers can use these platforms to not only help guide the public through an actual crisis, but also fact check users. So basically, in this sense, you get an opportunity to piggyback off of what people are saying in the news or major, of course, uh, news notifications where uh, the CDC is spreading some type of news for the whole public to know, okay, this is what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're in the right healthcare uh, profession, you can use your social media platforms to either agree or disagree and uh, use that time to educate people and also to show your authoritativeness within the niche. Provide health information. It is important to provide physician tips and health quotes and share details about the live medical procedures through social media platforms. This can be done by sharing images, YouTube videos, 
and infographics via different platforms. Answer health-related queries through platforms like Quora and Yahoo as they help connect your facility to an active community and also improve search engine rankings in the long run. So, of course, as we're mentioning here, providing physician tips and health quotes and share details about live medical procedures through social media platforms. As you can look at all the platforms that you sign up to, just take a look, uh, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, 15. It should be quick in terms of gathering up a bunch of uh, competitors within each platform. <clears throat> and then from there, seeing what they're doing that you aren't. And as we mentioned about sharing details about live medical procedures, so on and so forth, you can get ideas of what you are currently doing at your office um, uh, in terms of videos, uh, showing, um, uh, getting testimonials, showing new audiences that, look, this is how a procedure is done, or here's the benefits, harms, wh whatever it is, you basically will get a competitive analysis together. So 15 minutes alone will let you know what's going on across the board, is the, the, the way that people are marketing the same across the board, and the, the accounts that you see are very close to what you do, are you able to compete against them? Take patients behind the scenes. Highlighting the human side of a healthcare practice helps to make social presence more personal. Social networking platforms like Instagram stories are highly useful for sharing the behind the scenes content. A brief glimpse of a healthcare practice's day to day life can help make a connection with followers. For instance, Below given is a post from John Hopkins, which serves as both wholesome content and a positive spin on working on healthcare during health crisis time. So within the content, when you get a chance, as this is not the only uh, bullet points <clears throat> of actionable tips uh, to keep in mind when looking at social media as a force pretty much to be reckoned with. Uh, for your healthcare service, uh, you will notice some of the examples that we give uh, to to kind of drive home the 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 point that social media uh, is a better better option to use and it's quick. You can set things up fast and go from there. So, uh, going into the last bit, healthcare marketers face a distant set of challenges when it comes to social media marketing. At the same time, they have tons of opportunities to make a meaningful and positive impact on their followers. Right from educating the public to creating a sense of community, analyze how healthcare social media marketing can make a real difference when it is done correctly. Setting realistic goals and making effective social media choices in the basis of business objectives will help shape the leads that your business attracts. So going forward, look at social media as a place that you can entertain your audience um, through informational uh, uh, content. So the content is very educational, but at the same time, it's entertaining. So Check out the different types of social media accounts that you currently have. If you haven't yet, look at your competitors and put together a small list, five to ten weaknesses and strengths that they have. But remember, the competitors has to be people that are servicing the same types of things that you are doing. So once you do that, you'll be able to drill down further into types of posts that you should be putting forward apart from, you know, pandemic type issues, of course, COVID-19 that's going on, how to keep yourself aware of, you know, updates, etc. Whatever it is you put pertains to COVID-19.